Hello, Trail Freak here, coming at you from Trail Freak Garage. Speaking of garage, uh, check out my other channel, Trail Freak Garage. Not a whole lot on there right now, but I will be doing some stuff with my van back there. You see that, and I have some. I'm, you know, into old cars and stuff like that. So I'll be having some of that stuff on there. So check that channel out if you don't mind, and uh, give it a like and subscribe. Today we're here because of this, this right here. I can't, I can't reach it to fix this. If you saw my last video or stuck around to the end of that video, you know that uh, Winrock done me in right there. I don't know when that happened. I don't know if it was on my first run down, my practice run, or my race run, which neither one of them went very well if you've seen that video. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But yeah, that's, that's what Winrock did to me. It hurts too. But going to attempt to fix this. And I don't think it's going to be too bad. I mean, I watched a few videos on YouTube about, uh, you know, fixing carbon. So I'm pretty much an expert. So, yeah, that's, that's right. I'm an expert now. So you always watch videos and become an expert on uh, stuff. So, and I know people are going to be saying... Why don't you just get a new bike, man? What about just getting a, a new frame or calling up evil and uh, getting them to send you a crash replacement? Yeah, I mean, I know a guy. I know a guy can uh, fix that frame right up for you. Yeah, it won't cost you very much at all. Maybe about four or five hundred dollars. Yeah, I heard it all. And all good suggestions, but... One, I can't afford a new bike. That's what nowadays are a good enduro bike around five thousand or more. Uh, a frame, just a frame nowadays. I know the the newest Evil frames are going for I think that around three thousand. I think they're actually about to go up again. Ah, oh, dang! I could send it back to Evil, get a crash replacement. That's six hundred dollars. Can't do that. Can't. Can't be without my bike for, you know, I got some races coming up. Or I could send it to somebody to fix it. You know, there's carbon guys out there that fix bikes, road bikes, mountain bikes. They, they fix it all. So uh, that's going to be around 350 to 400 just to get it fixed. And I can't, I can't really afford that right now either. So the only option that I have is to fix it myself. Uh, I got a kit for 60 bucks with the epoxy resin and the uh, little sheet of carbon fiber. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix it myself, attempt to fix it myself. And, you know, like I said, I watched some videos, so I'm pretty much an expert. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I did a little practice piece. I practiced and made this piece right here. It's not perfect. You know, you can see little bubbles and stuff. But it's pretty strong and what I did I'm gonna make a video and show how I did this but I basically took some uh, Centro material like sign material and molded it to the frame then I layered carbon fiber over it and it's strong it's pretty strong so got a little bit of practice on that let's get started first thing I'm going to do is uh you know where I got this, these lines drawn, I originally was going to see if I can't even get in the frame there. There we go. But I drew a line around here. I'm going to sand all the way around to right here and see how far the crack goes. I'm hoping this crack stops right there. And once I get that paint off, I'll be able to tell more. And the crack didn't go down far on the bottom there. Can't even get the thing in there, but yeah, the crack didn't go very far on the bottom, so I should be good there. The worst part of it is, you know, right there. But yeah, I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, then go from there. All right, before I get started, I want to let you know that I will be wearing a respirator and uh, wearing safety specs because you don't want to be breathing in this carbon fiber. Yeah, it ain't good for your lungs. Yeah. So I'm going to 
start going here in the bottom. Sand it down, sand it down pretty good right there. So I'm gonna clean all this up and uh, see where we're at. See how bad it is. Yeah, you know, I mean I, it's bad, but I'm gonna see how much we gotta work here. So, all right, let's see what we got here. Now I know that Evil and some other bike companies use a different type of carbon fiber than other companies I mean I think they all use about the same stuff but it's not the typical little uh, woven carbon fiber that you see you know on race cars and stuff like that or other carbon bikes like my XC bike over there but it looks like let's see it's delaminating a little bit right there I have to sand some more. I'm gonna sand more right there. There's a little delimitation right there. And, all right, I'm gonna sand this a little bit more. I wanna, instead of using that Rolox, I'm gonna get, uh, get some sandpaper and see, see how that does. 